there were booze at the end. You know, I'm just Fuck curious, em. does that affect you at all? Uh, they all, they've been here since 3 p.m. They're all drunk. They don't know what real fighting is or real, real finesse. And I've said this, look, the greats, they all get to this point. I've seen it when I was just a fan, still a fan. Anderson Silva, GSP. I remember fights with I'd be like, that was a fucking fantastic fight. And the same thing, people would just boo them. GSP, one of the fucking goats. And people would just boo him. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys watching? You dumb fucks. Ali, Floyd Mayweather, same thing. You get to this point where it's like, you're so great, people just want to see you fall. You know? They just want to see you fall, no matter what. And if it's not like a show out spectacular performance, then it's like, ah, he's not even that good. But trust, like, Jared knows I'm a good fighter. He knows I'm a great fighter, and I gave him the same credit as well. People are saying, I'll oh, criticize me for your fighting style, but at the end of the day, it seems like your opponents get in there and kind of freeze up in front of you. I'm curious, what do you think makes them do that? Is it the, the sense of scale of the, the fight itself? Is it your movement? What exactly makes these guys sort of slow down in front of you? A mixture of all. Uh, I felt like the moment got to him, but he picked himself back up. I'll give it to him. He adjusted and picked his energy back up. And um, I feel like the moment... Um, the, the moment and the skills, I feel that's what gets to them. And I said, this is an acquired taste to be under the spotlight. I can thrive under this bitch. I don't melt under the spotlight. I shine. So, yeah, I feel like it's a combination of everything. Yeah, let's kick it off. Jab, cross to the beat, beat. You MMA, he is the main course of the feast. Lynch on sports, the force. He's got his ears to the streets. I'm with knowledge, shaking the brain with breakdowns.